Ted Haggard was the pastor of New Life Church, an evangelical megachurch in Colorado Springs with a congregation of over 10,000 people. Haggard was also the president of the National Association of Evangelicals. In November of 2006, he resigned from this position and was fired from his church following allegations by a male prostitute named Mike Jones. Jones claimed that Haggard had repeatedly paid him for sex and also purchased and used crystal meth. Although Haggard initially denied this and claimed that he did not even know Jones, he later confessed that he was guilty of sexual immorality and admitted to buying and using meth. He was then counseled by a team of pastors, and a few months later, one of them claimed that Haggard was now completely heterosexual. In a recent news story, Haggard, who is now working as an insurance salesman, admitted that he still struggles with his sexuality. He said, The reason I kept my personal struggle a secret is because I feared that my friends would reject me, abandon me, and kick me out, and the church would exile and excommunicate me. And that happened more and more. The church has said, Go to hell. The church chose not to forgive me. At this stage in my life, I am a loser. Well, I would love to be able to say that I sympathize with him, that I feel bad for him and for what he's going through right now, but I do not. Because when Haggard was still the pastor of New Life Church, he preached that being gay is wrong, because the Bible says so. And the National Association of Evangelicals said that homosexual activity is clearly condemned in the scriptures. He and his church supported an initiative against gay marriage in Colorado. In fact, that is why Mike Jones decided to publicize what Haggard had been doing in secret. And he was even part of a conference call with President Bush or Bush's advisors on a weekly basis. And now Ted Haggard says that at this stage of his life, he is a loser. I would have to disagree with him because he was already a loser. He held an immense amount of influence, and he was a loser when he used this influence to teach his followers to hate people for being gay. He was a loser when he encouraged them to deny their fellow gay citizens the same rights that they themselves enjoy. And he was a loser when he trained his followers to feel righteous and holy about inflicting their hatred and injustice on other people. That is reprehensible, and damn near unforgivable. And that is why I find it hard to feel sorry for him when he says that he kept his personal struggle a secret because he feared that his friends would reject him, abandon him, and kick him out. Well, how do you think we feel? You know, us? Remember us? The gay people you condemned in front of tens of thousands of churchgoers? Ted Haggard, do you have any idea what you've done? It's because of you and your fellow evangelicals that so many of us have to live our lives in secret. Because you have trained so many people to hate us just for who we are. And we are afraid that when our friends find out, they will reject us and abandon us just for who we love. You and your associates have indoctrinated so many people to such a degree that they will disown members of their own family for being gay. This intolerance is what you taught at your church, and you have the audacity to be upset when they won't accept you for who you are. They told you to go to hell? Guess how many churches say that I actually am going to hell? Churches run by people like you. You have sown the wind, Ted Haggard, and now that you are reaping the whirlwind, I do not feel bad for you in the slightest. You earn this. And as far as I'm concerned, your presence in this world has been a net negative for the well-being of humanity. But what's done is done, and now you have a choice. You can still turn this around. Instead of being counseled by pastors in a vain attempt to somehow restore you, as if being gay is some kind of flaw, you can accept yourself for who you are. The nice thing about being openly gay is that you don't have to marry a person of the opposite sex in order to keep up appearances, and you don't need to have secret affairs with prostitutes. You can acknowledge that you were wrong to use your position of power to spread hatred. There is no shame in admitting that you were wrong. And once you realize that it's okay to be gay, then you should realize that it's okay for other people to be gay. You've fallen, and for good reason. But now, you have the opportunity to get back up. 
you can become a force for good in this world. By acknowledging who you are and spreading tolerance instead of hatred, you can become a symbol for real change. You can help to heal the wounds that you and your followers have inflicted. Please, use this as a learning experience. Now that you know how it feels to be ostracized for being gay, can you honestly continue to follow the same anti-gay doctrine that is responsible for ruining the lives of so many people like yourself? I really am trying to see the positive side of this whole terrible situation, and I genuinely hope that Ted Haggard can learn how to respect himself and respect all of us for who we are.